Hello and welcome to Place Themes YouTube channel. In this tutorial, you will learn how to add and edit banner layout with NewsKit Elementor Address plugin to your website. By using NewsKit Elementor Address plugin, you can import our styles layouts to your website in just a single click. I will show you the available styles in five different banner layouts. To be able to use these layouts, you will have to install and activate NewsKit Elementor Adams plugin. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel because we will be uploading more tutorials like this in the coming days. You can see the horizontal sliding being applied in popper post tab. In style 2, auto slide is in use in main slider and vertical sliding is being applied in popper post tab. Slider animation and delay timer can be customized according to your need. I will explain and show you how to do this later in this video. Main banner 2 has two columns, main slider and popular post tab. You can manage each and every section of banner layout like image border radius, overlay, image ratio, etc. This is main banner layout 3. Main banner 3 has main slider and trailing posts. You can specify the number of trailing posts to be shown. You can edit image animation and title hover animation. When you import any of this demo, you can customize post query settings and design all by yourself according to your design choice. This is banner 4. You can place main slider on left and trailing posts on right or vice versa. There are separate query and design options for main slider section and trailing post section. Every style and layout is impressive in its distinct way. As of today, there are 5 banner layouts, but we will be regularly adding layouts and styles with new designs in the future updates of NewsKit Elementor Addons plugin. In each banner layout, there are many variant styles. You can use these layouts as many as you want in any section of a page. I will show you how to add banner layout, all of the available settings in it, how to edit the settings and all of the stunning design options you can customize in the banner layout. Now let's start editing. Go to edit with Elementor, go to widgets on the panel, source for main banner. Drag and drop the banner layout to the canvas. I am going to add all 5 banner layouts to the canvas. You will get a basic layout as soon as you add the banner widget to a container. In that layout, you can edit each and every element which I am going to show you in this video. As options are similar in its layout, I am only keeping main banner layout 5 and show you how to edit there. As for other remaining banner layouts, I am deleting them. Use main banner sorting to choose the sites where you want to place main banner wrap and trailing posts, that is left or right side. Go to slider post query, select the order of display of posts. 
choose the number of posts to display. Select post authors, post categories, politics, culture. You can also choose post tags onto slider post element settings. You can show post title, post categories, post date. Select the position of the icon. Choose date icon. So post excerpt and determine excerpt length. Select the alignment of elements left, center or right. You can also arrange the position of elements. Next, slider settings, enable or disable auto slide, show or hide slider arrow, enable or disable slider loop, show or hide slider dots. Show or hide slider fade. Show or hide slider arrow on hover. Determine slider speed. Choose arrow icons. Determine icon size. Like I said before, there are separate query and design options for main slider and trailing post sections. Now we are editing trailing posts query. The setting process of trailing posts query is similar to that of slider post query. On to trailing posts column title settings. You can show or hide title. If you choose to show title, you can edit the title name. Specify the alignment of the title, left, center or right. In trailing posts element settings, you have the option to show or hide post title and post date. If you choose to show post date, you can choose icon position and the icon itself. In advertisement settings, you can enable advertisements that are displayed in random positions in each page load in the trailing post section. Put the destination link of the advertiser when the user clicks on the advertisement. In animation settings, as of today, there are 10 different custom animation effects. Choose the appropriate image size for the posts in the main manner section. By going to the general settings in the style tab, you can choose primary color. There are even separate settings to determine column gap and row gap. In slider post title, edit typography, font family, font size, font weight, transform, style, decoration, add line height, letter spacing, and word spacing. We can also edit background color, padding, and margin.
same process for slider post excerpt. I'm going to increase font size, choose normal font weight, add a bit of top margin. Moving on to slider post categories, adding background color. Edit typography. On to slider post date. I hope that you are fully familiar with the available settings and processes by now. Increasing lift margin by 13 pixels. Increase a bit of bottom margin in slider post title. In slider controls, I'm going to edit padding. You can choose different color and background type for initial and over states. You can play around the settings and pick the best color options yourself. You may also add box shadow. There is also settings to add border and border radius. There are separate settings for elements of trailing posts. Editing trailing posts column title styles. Edit typography. Choosing Zilla Slab font family. 24 pixels of font size, semi bold font weight. Add a little bit of bottom margin. 12 pixels of bottom margin. Editing settings in trailing post title typography. Roboto slab font family. 14 pixels of font size. Also going to add line height. 24 pixels of line height. Next, trailing posts, date typography. Open sans. Twelve pixels of font size. Adding a little bit of top and bottom margin. In advertisement styles, I want to add border. I will also add border width. Choose border color and determine border radius. If you want to add image overlay, first enable it. I am choosing gradient background type, so I will choose different primary and secondary color. Along with that, I will also determine the location of the color. If you choose to, you can also apply CSS filters. I would like to remind you that I am using Pro version for this tutorial. So you might not see some features in your website if you are using free version. But there is no need to worry, there is only a little difference. 
you can get around all of the settings very easily by following this tutorial. If you have any questions or need any help, visit blazethemes.com and contact our support team to get free support.